Shalom, Yashallah. I'm going to start by saying all praise, all glory, all honor, all blessing, all truth belong to our power. Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Yahweh Double honors to the elders in our pussies of great millstone that teach us will wear and wool will wear through the Aqua Kodash. And salutation to the Akiam that's in how is and bow is doing this work and truth and sincerity to the four corners of the earth. And much respect unto the elect and the awful elect sons and daughters of Yashallah that step in the way of washes in the name of Yahweh. Why Yahweh Shamashiak? Shalom, Shalom. To this lesson is about Yahweh hope is. And Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. For that's the way our power, Abanawa Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, like it. And that's the way it's supposed to be. For He's our Father, right? He's the one that created Yahshua'ala. So He wants us to depend on Him according to His words, right? Because He wants us to call upon His name. For his waiting, the name of Yahweh is a strong tower to watch us one into it, and they are safe. We have to run unto our power, Yahweh, and that's where our the hope is supposed to be, right? That's the, that's what the hope with faith come, right? At the end of the day, right? Let's get it. Let's get it. Then first scriptures real quick. Let's go to um, Hebrews. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1 Now faith is the substance of things hoped for The evidence of things not seen You see We have to have hope that to, for, for you to have the faith You have to hope And who is going to hope for hope in And you have power by Hashem Yahushai And the Lord is the one that give a, That give the faith Right You have to hope for faith Right At the end of the day See something of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. See, you don't have to see, see those things for you to hope. Because the Lord, the a great uh, suffering is going to come. And Yahweh power by Hashem Yahshua tell us so that we're going to be delivered from all those trouble. And that's where our hope lies that Yahweh power, words are faithful and truth. And we know so because every prophecy it talk about Yahshua. That, that was that we were going to be under the curse and that, that all those things happened unto us yeah how power by Hashem Yahshua has told us we we're going to go in slavery on ships and we did that's exactly what happened that we we're going to be scattered throughout the four corners of the earth and we did and that's the word of Yahweh by Hashem Yahshua faithful and truth that's where we're going to get our hope out right let's get another scripture hey, let's get to um, Joel chapter 3 verse 16 Jewish chapter 3 verse 16 Yahweh power also shall war in Zion so war out of Zion and utter his voice from Jerusalem and the heavens and the earth shall shake but Yahweh power will be the hope of his people as you can see Yahweh power gonna be the hope of his people again I had to Lord utter his voice in, from Jerusalem by his words that's been spoken by the prophet, the teachers, the elders, the apostles, all those that's at the word of, of that's, that's the voice of Yah of the of the Lord from Jerusalem and the heavens. And the earth is shaking. The word of Yahweh Bashim is shaking the earth right now. Right? But Yahweh power will be the hope of his people and the strength of the children of Israel. It's gonna be our hope and it's gonna be our strength. So shall you know that I am Yahweh, your power, dwelling in Zion. Yahweh power dwelling in Zion. Because we are the temple of the Most High, Yahweh. My holy mountains, a separate uh, uh, mountains, separate people, a separate government that the Lord have put upon this earth, standing with the elect of Yahshua'ala. Then shall Jerusalem be holy, and there, and there shall no strangers pass to her anymore. That's exactly what's going on. When you when you have Sham when you Yasha Allah is it, set in the land. No other nation gonna come to us, gonna bring us to captivity. We're gonna be holy to our own people, we're gonna be to our own the true power on earth. 
and no stranger gonna be able to overcome us. Because Yahweh power gonna be to Yahweh power to his only begotten son Yahusha Mashiach gonna dwell through us. Gonna be dwelling in Zion at that time, right? That's exactly what the time that we are in, Yashallah. And that's why, Yashallah, you have to hope in your power. Like he said before, Yahweh will be the hope of his people. Yahweh power will gonna be our hope. And we, that's why we should hope in Yahweh power to the faith that he has installed into us. I didn't say it. The most high Yahweh by Hashem Yahusha I say so. That it's gonna be our hope. And that's why Yashallah, you so called black Latino in America, and you should hope in the most high Yahweh. Okay, and Yahweh power have called us as saints of the Most High to, to hope in Him forever and ever to everlasting, right? And let's go to Psalm uh -huh, 132. Uh, Psalm chapter 132 verse 13 For Yahweh power have chosen Zion He have desired it for his habitation You see like he said before When I just read Joel 3 verse 16 Yahweh, eh, 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 Yahweh power have chosen Zion it's, You can say he's going to dwell with us He's going to be he, he's dwelling places in Zion He have desired for his habitation That Yahweh power is going to be with us on, uh, uh, In the latter days this is my west forever. Here I will dwell. For I have desired. The Lord desired. And the Lord going to dwell there. And there is nothing. No other no, no other nation can do about that. Because the Lord that declare it. And the Lord that open his mouth and say so. Right. I will abundantly bless your provisions. I will satisfy with poor with bread. The Lord going to feed us. And the Lord going to give us riches out here. Which is the Lord gonna make us above all nations upon this earth, those that keep that follow after his way, those that keep his commandment and have and have the faith in a Mashiach Yahushai. I will also clothe, clothe her priest with salvation, and her sins shall shout out loud for joy. See? There will I make the horn of David to bud. I will ordain a lamp for my anointed. What who's the horn of David? Yahusha Mashiach. You see? And let's show you that Yahusha Mashiach is the horn of David, right? It's the horn of our salvation. Let's go to a um Luke chapter 1, verse 68. Hey. Uh, Luke chapter 1 verse 68. Blessed be Yahweh power of Yashallah. For he have visited and redeemed his people. Like he said, we, we read it before. The Lord said, Israel is people at the end of the day. And have raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. The horn of David is Yah Yahusha Mashiach. That's exactly what Yah Yah Yahusha is. It's the horn of, uh, uh, of David, the horn of salvation. As he speak by the mouth of his holy prophet, which has been since the world began. David is a prophet, and David that professes about Yahusha being the whole, you know what I mean? In the house of David, that we shall be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us, to perform the mercy promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant, the oath which he swear to our fathers Abraham. See? It's just, it's, it, the Lord, I've, I've, the prophet word of those things that is going to be the hope of Yashallah. And to that hope, he have raised up a whole salvation for us in the house of David, which is Yahusha Mashiach, so we can hope in him at the end of the day. Right? This is exactly the time we end Yashallah. Right? Let's go back. There will I make, verse 17. Psalm 132 verse 17, there I will I make the horn of David to bud. I will ordain a lamp for my anointed. See? 
And that's exactly what, what, what the Lord have done for us by sending us Yahweh Shamashiach to die, eh, our Lord and Savior, our King of Kings, to die for our sins so we can have hope in our power, Yahweh. Okay? Verse 18, his enemies will have clothed with shame, but upon himself shall he his crown flourish. See, hey, our enemies will be clothed with shame. They're going to be in shame when they see our salvation coming. When, when they see the, our hope come true. You see? And yeah, let's go to uh, Isaiah. It's not going to be a long lesson, but it's supposed to, to show you that our power, Yahweh, is our hope. And we're gonna depend on him, right? And he asks us to depend on him, right? Because it's our hope again, right? Let's go to Isaiah 45. Verse 21. And Isaiah 45, verse 21. Tell ye and bring them near. Yea, let them take counsel together who have declared this from ancient time, who have told it from that time. I have not I, Yahweh, and there is no God else beside me, a just God and a Savior, there is none beside me. Yahweh power have declared those things. And that's why we, we, we know that the word of Yahweh by Hashem Yahusha is faithful and truth. Yahweh have declared that Allah is the hope of Yahshua'ala, and we believe in it. Because that's the hope that he instilled in us of the, of the hopeful elect and the elect and the hopeful elect sons and daughters of Yashallah. Look unto me. You see, the Lord wants you to look unto him, right? For your hope. And be ye saved. It's our hope that we'll be saved in the latter days when tribulation, persecution come unto us, right? All the ends of the earth, for I am the most high and there is none else. I've sworn by myself the word is going out of my mouth in righteousness and shall not return. That unto me every knee shall bow, every tongue shall swear. Every knee gonna bow unto our power, Yahweh, and his only begotten son, Yahusha Mashiach. And the word that Yahweh power by Hashem Yahweh has spoken is not gonna come back unto him void. Surely shall one say, and Yahweh have our righteousness and strength. Even to him shall men come, and all that are incensed against him shall be ashamed. See, those people are gonna be ashamed. The enemies of Yahshua are gonna be ashamed on those times. The enemy of the Lord are gonna be ashamed when they see our hope come truth again. And the Lord shall all the seed of Israel be justified and shall glory. See, it's our hope that the Lord justify Yahshua, and that the Lord gonna give us glory on those days. It's our hope. It's exactly what we can empower Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai to do for us, right? And look at this couple more scriptures. Let's go to Jeremiah 3 and 23. Jeremiah 3, 8, 8, 8, 23. Let's start at 22. Return ye, back, ye backsliding children, I will heal your backsliding. The Lord going to heal us. This is our hope. Behold, we come unto thee, for though our Yahweh, our power, we know that Yahweh is our is the power of Yahshallah. Those that know this truth, those that have been instructed of this truth, those that the Lord have given the Holy Spirit to understand this truth, we know that our power, Yahweh, is the power of Yahshallah. Truly in vain is salvation hopeful from the hills and from the multitude of mountains. Truly in Yahweh power, is the salvation of Yash of Yah of Israel. See? That's where our hope is that Yahweh power is gonna be the salve it's gonna be our salvation at the end of the at the at the, at the end of the days, right? At the end of, at the at the end of times. That our hope that Yahweh power will save us and be our salvation. And that's exactly what we hope for, Yahshua Allah, right? And that's what the Lord wants us to depend on him for. For he, he, and his righteousness is said, I will be the hope of Yashala. And that's exactly what we will, you know, you know. Let's get, let's get Jeremiah um, 14 and 8. Mm -hmm. 
Jeremiah chapter 14, oh, verse 8. O oh, the hope of Israel, the Savior thereof in time of trouble, why shouldest thou be as a stranger in the land, as a wayfaring man that turn aside to tarry for a night? Why shouldest thou be as a man uh, as stony, as a mighty man that cannot save? Yet thou, O oh Lord, are in the midst of us, and we are called, we are called by thy name, leave us not. See, we don't want the Lord to leave us. That's why we hope and Yahweh power by Hashem Yahushai. You see, oh, the hope of Yahshua, the Savior the earth in the time of trouble. Yahweh power is going to save us in the time of trouble. And it's the hope of Israel. And we are called by the name of Yahweh. Right? And we hope that Yahweh power doesn't leave us. Those said Yahweh power unto his people, those have their love to wander. They have not refrained their feet. Therefore, the Lord do not accept them. He will not remember the iniquity in visiting their sins. The Lord have visited our sins because of all we have done. Because we forget about our power. We forget to have hope unto our power, Yahweh. And the Lord have forget, forget about us. But now, the Lord now the Lord have tell us to, to return unto him, right? So we might have hope in him. Because he is our hope. See, that's exactly what we're doing right now. We have sinned against the Mosai. We have gone astray. And now we, got, we, want, we now, now we have to put all our hope onto our power, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushai. Right? Let's go to verse 17. Jeremiah 17. Jeremiah 17 verse 13 O Yahweh power to hope of, of Israel all that forsake thee shall be ashamed all those two thirds of our people that, that are going to forsake uh, Yahweh are going to be ashamed and they that depart from me shall be waiting in earth they, they, they are going to destroy you right because they are forsaken Yahweh power the four things of living waters heal me O Lord Yahweh power I shall be healed save me and I shall be saved for uh for do at my praise see that's, that's exactly what the lord we have to pray the lord is our praise that's who we're gonna praise that's what we're gonna call upon so we can be saved in the light of days in the end of the time in the time of trouble and yahweh power again is the hope of of israel you have course cast out the cycles of our sins and now us it the, the women that's returned Gonna be safe because because they're gonna hope and on, on our power, Yahweh. That's exactly what we what we're doing, right? Let's get a few more scriptures, you know, and show you how the Lord gonna save us to his only begotten son, Yahusha Mashiach, and he's gonna have us hope in his only begotten son, Yahusha Mashiach, right? Let's get uh say Psalm one thirty. Psalm chapter 130 verse 7 Let Israel hope in Yahweh power for with the Lord for Yahweh for with Yahweh there is mercy and with him is plenteous redemption you see at the end of the day we have go astray by our sins but in, in, in Yahweh power there is mercy until I can have mercy on Jacob and yet choose Israel and bring them in their own land see and with him is plenteous a plenteous, plenteous redemption and he shall redeem Israel from all his iniquities at the end of the day the lord is gonna redeem us from all our iniquities and that's where we have our hope at right that the lord forgive us for all our, for all our trespasses right for we are truly trespassed against our power yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, right and the lord is gonna send a savior to redeem us and to put our hope in right at the end of the day okay they get they get because the lord in hey, yahweh shama shares the word right Let's go to and let's go to Romans, right? Fifteen. Uh, verse five. Let's go to verse five. Let's go to verse four first, right? Now, uh, a uh, woman chapter fifteen, uh, verse four. For whatsoever things we're waiting at full time, we're waiting for our learning, that through patience and comfort of the scripture might have hope. You see? When you read those things that the Lord gonna uh, that the that Yahweh power by Hashem Yahusha is the hope of Israel. When you read those scriptures, it, it comforts us. And that's what the hope 
came from when we read about the word of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. That's it, our hope came from, right? Because the Lord he, he have the he, the prophet, the teachers, and all uh, and and those in Moses and uh, David to word those things so Israel can be comforted, right? And have hope in him. That's exactly what the scripture was waiting for. Was waiting uh, uh, for for Yash Allah, so that, that we might have hope, right? Not the power of patience and consolation grant to you the like minded one toward one another, according to uh, uh, to Amashiach Yahusha Mashiach, that we may be with one mind and one mouth, glorify the Most High Yahweh, even the Father of our Lord Yahusha Mashiach. Yet wherefore we receive ye one another, as a Mashiach also receive us to the glory of the Most High. That's why we want to receive it as the glory and the glory of the Most High, so that we hope in Him, and that Yahweh power be our salvation to the end of the earth. Let's go to verse thirteen, right? You see, and that's what we're doing right now, verse 9. And that the Gentiles might glorify God for his mercy. As is waiting for this cause, I will confess to thee among the Gentiles and seek unto thy name. That's exactly what we're doing. We, 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 we confess the name of Yahweh by Hashem among the Gentiles because the Lord have carried us among the Gentiles. So when the Lord, when the when Yasha Allah, that's the scary among the Gentiles. See the name of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua. Those of the elect, they're going to hear that and they're going to have hope that they're going to be saved in that time, right? Again, he said, We just eat Gentiles with his people. The word wait is not there. He said, he's talking about the Gentiles, that the Israel that's in Gentiles still don't mind. His people. Again, praise Yahweh, all ye Gentiles, and Lord him, all ye people. And again, Isaiah said, There shall be a word of Jesse, he that shall rise to win over the Gentiles, and him shall the Gentile trust. Not the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace and believing, that ye may abound in hope to the power of the Holy Spirit. That the Lord give us the, Holy, the power of the Holy Spirit to have hope in Yahweh Mashiach. And that's the is in Yahweh Shamashia is the root of Jesse. See, and he's the one that's gonna rule over the Gentiles at the end of the day. And that's exactly where our hope at, right? Now it is so called black Latin American. Hey, hey, for a long time we're in a Gentile state of mind. We didn't know who we are, we are lost. And those times, right? And now we have hope in Yahweh Shamashiach. We have we have hope in, in our our Father Yahweh, the Father of our Lord and Savior, our King of Kings, Yahweh Shamashiach. Right? And let's go to uh first um let's go to Psalm. Let's go back to Psalm 119. Verse 14. Hey, Psalm chapter 119, verse 114. Though I my hiding place and my shell, I hope in thy word. See, we're supposed to hope in the word of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. Why use the word of Yahweh? Hey, Yahweh Shamashiach is the word of, of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. It's the, it, it, the hey, Yahweh power. Uh, I've sent his word, which is Yahweh Shamashiach, okay? To be our Lord and Savior, our King of Kings. Let's just show you that Yahweh Shamashiach is the word. Let's go to John, all right? John chapter 1 verse 1 and the beginning was the word and the word was was the, was with the Mosai and the word was God the same was in the beginning with God you see let's see was the, in the beginning with the Mosai Yahweh Shamashiach right all things was made by him and with him without him as was not anything made that was made and him was life and the life was the light of man and the light shine in darkness and the darkness comprehended not as you can see the lord is going to say going to put the lamb when you with the psalm uh, 132 the last verse 
and it was the lamp of the Most High, the anointed of the Most High, Yahweh, right? This is Yahweh Shamashiach. At the end of the day, and he's out in him, we're going to hope in the word. And Yahweh Shamashiach is the word that we're going to hope in. And that's where all those things came, 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 came in, right? Let's get the last verse. Let's go to First Peter, right? First Peter chapter 1, uh, verse 3. Let's start at 1, First Peter chapter 1, chapter 1, verse 1. Peter, an apostle of Yahweh Shamashiach, to the strangers scattered throughout Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia, right? Elect according to foreknowledge of the Mosai, the Father, Yahweh, to sanctification of the Spirit, unto obedience or sprinkling of the blood of Amashiach Yahweh Grace unto you and peace be multiplied. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Yahweh Shamashiach, which according to his burden of mercy have begotten us again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Yahweh Shamashiach from the dead. See, that's where our hope came from. Yahweh, Yahweh power have sent his only begotten son Yahweh Shamashiach, for in him we shall hope. See? When he rise up, when he rise, Yahweh Shamashiach from the dead, and to his blood we are saved, and to his blood we have hope that we're gonna be saved. Those of the elect, the elect according to the foreknowledge of the Most High Yahweh, is those that are gonna have hope, and those that we have faith that those things, that's the word of Yahweh by Hashem, shall are faithful and truth. And at the end of the days, you, you, Yashala, so called black Latino American, hope. Unto our power, Yahweh. For in Him is the hope of Yashallah. And like He said, like Yahweh power by Hashem Yahusha said, He is the hope of Yashallah. And let's hope. You hopefully elect. And the elect sons and daughters of Yashallah, let's hope unto our power, Yahweh. Forever and ever to everlasting. And with that, our whole brothers and sisters was edified. I'm going to give all praise, all glory, all honor, all blessing, all truth belong to our power, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Kodash, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone that teach us will well and wool will well. Salutation to the Akiam that's in Howies and Bowies doing this work in truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth and much respect unto the elect and the awful elect sons and daughters of Yashallah that step into way of righteousness in the name of Yahweh. Why Yahweh Shamashiach? Shalom, Shalom, Abba Babo, Kom Yashallah.